this morning. We're anxious to see sunrise this morning so we can do that. In fact, well, I can tell you, though, there are hot spots this morning burning all the way up the hillside this morning. We have some pictures that I want to show you, too, sent to us by a Fox 12 viewer. Uh, Paul Klein sent this in from yesterday to give you an idea of just the destruction near the top of that bluff. There are some four homes destroyed by this fire, 50 to 60 others evacuated as a precaution. And again, this all started late yesterday morning when this fire started near the gorge on the, the gorge level and worked. Not a wildfire season and a long week in the head for the dozens of firefighters in Central Oregon battling the flames from a huge complex of about six different fires near Warm Springs. Yesterday, crews quickly contained a fire along I-84 near the Dalles, and one of our viewers named Paul Klein sent us this picture. Check that out. Wow, great shot, Paul. Good evening, Sophie. Right over here is where Fox 12 viewer Paul Klein said he saw the, the crowd pinning the suspect to the curb. A witness says the man was slashing bike tires before he got tackled. Now this is video you'll see only on 12. It shows the man pinned against the sidewalk. People who were there tell us the man walked into the Yamhill pub before the incident. The bartender there says the place wouldn't serve him because he appeared to be drunk. He then tells us the guy asked if anyone wanted to see something funny and went outside. That's when the bartender says people heard a hissing sound and found the man had been slashing the tires on bike messengers bicycles. The man who shot this video says at least three people tackled the suspect and warned him that if he got up, they would knock him back down. He says the man on the curb was surrounded by beer bottles and Portland police tell us they took him to detox because they say he was indeed drunk. This could be the Valentine's Day one Portland couple never forgets. This is their engage engagement. A stranger actually caught the proposal on tape a couple years ago, but just posted it on the U News section of KATU.com. K2's Adam Gassimi shows us its video this couple never even knew existed. Nathan and Jory Lindquist can still remember. Have we done a scavenger hunt? Almost every detail. I think he planned it like a day or two ahead. Of the day they got engaged. It was the most intense, intimidating thing that I have ever done. Nathan had his two best friends snapping pictures. And they're big dudes, so it's, they can't hide very well. But there was another camera in Waterfront Park the couple didn't know about. When he was asking me, I didn't even think there was a single person around. Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Paul Klein was shooting this video randomly on April 7th, 2009. Uh, ever since I took the video, I've, I've really wanted to get it to him. I, I thought they deserved to have that. So last week, Klein decided to upload it to you News on KATU.com. Within an hour, a friend recognized the couple and got them all in touch. I was excited and nervous and anxious all over again. For the Lindquist, it means reliving their proposal in a completely new way. We feel more excited and those emotions are back again that kind of kind of fade away through day-to-day -day life. To be able to see myself and like the excitement that was on my face was, it just brought a whole, like it, it just made it more real. And the couple tells me they thought the first email was actually spam, but tonight they are thankful for the kindness of strangers and for reading that entire message because they ended up, they say, with one of the best Valentine's Day gifts ever. That's a, such a happy story and a perfect Valentine's Day story. And it's good tonight. she said yes. That helped That's the whole story. Even better. Yeah. <laughs>